Welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast, your number one source for all things entertainment. Join host Marco Mazzola and his fellow ranters as they sound off on the latest movies, TV, and the world of entertainment. Now, here are your ranters for the hour Marco, Mila, Larry, and Bruno. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Entertainment Rants Podcast. I am, as always, your host, Marco Mazzola, and with me tonight is Larry. Hey, hey. Larry, how's it going? Not bad, boss. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's just the two of us. Just, just the, the two, two of us. We've done this a couple well, times. We've done. We have, because we've always, there's a lot of times it's just two of us. Um, <laughs> not saying anything. That's all I'm saying. Um, and we're going <laughs> to fuck with mics uh, after we start the show. This is kind of our thing. Yeah, it's, I mean, whatever. Yeah, it is what it us. is. It is what it is. My wife knows I'm podcasting, and she's still sending me uh, text and movies. All right. Uh, <laughs> A see her in an hour. So anyway, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, today, tonight, whatever the hell you're listening to this, we are going to cover the first two episodes of Loki yeah. and probably talk some Marvel shit yeah, because there's a lot to unpack. There's yeah. a lot of stuff going on in the world of Marvel and Disney and all kinds of stuff. So let's let's get into it. Um, Loki season two. Yes. Two episodes deep. Yep. Thoughts on the beginning of the series, the second yep. season. Yep. There it is. Yep. Um, <laughs> well, it's good talk, everybody. Yeah. Let's just uh, hit so, that. Oh, oh, there we go. No, yeah, just too no, quick, too quick, too, too quick. quick. Um, I really like it. I'm surprisingly liking this. Surprisingly. I'm also surprised you're liking this, but only because I know you. I'm right, loving it. Right, right, right. Just knowing so you and your that, love for the Marvel series. Yeah. So I had mixed feelings about this season one. You know, we had talked about it briefly in passing, maybe on the podcast. Who knows? Probably not. I don't know. But... I, I was kind of like, you know, kind of like 50-50 um, on, on Loki last year. On the, mm-hmm. on the season yeah, I remember. One, right? It wasn't, it wasn't that, I did, that, it, that I didn't like it, but it wasn't like, oh, my God. Yeah, it didn't blow you it, away. It didn't blow me away, right. But um, it wasn't She-Hulk. Oh, fuck. You know I had to do that. Yeah, you did. did. Um, but so this season, when I, going into it, I was going in with that kind of attitude. I was like, all right, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, it's definitely yours. It's definitely mine. It needs this, this cord or something. I'll figure it out. Put that on Right. Back burner. Um, yeah, I think so. So when I, when I, I, when I went into this, like well, stop stop <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right. <laughs> that's I have to, like, I have to touch it. That's a different podcast. Um, it is. So when I put it on, you know, I went in there with the same kind of thought and attitude, right? That, yeah. that, that, the way that I finished it last year. Um, I saw the first episode. I was like I said, I surprisingly liked it. Like how much I liked it. Yeah. You know, it was it was really really good. I really liked it. Um, the the seeing the the um the Jonathan Major statue yeah right out the gate kind of makes me think of what's going on yeah and I really haven't dove dived delved delved I've uh, whatever I have no English major in the deep end go go yeah go back hundred fifty episodes <laughs> right. you know no English major whatsoever um I, I don't I don't know what they're doing with him as a character he's as just, an actor fuck as a verb <laughs> fuck. Uh, it's a great word. Um, so I don't know really what's going on with him or how far they're going to continue with Jonathan Majors as the character. Have they said, you know, we're going to continue forward until what I, I just, I honestly don't know. Yeah. So that kind of made me think. But seeing the Jonathan Major statue of, of Kang, yeah. um, it, it reminded me of all that stuff. But um, so in a nutshell, just real quick before we get into any more of the details, I'm, I'm really liking this one, man. I, I really, really do. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. See you in the next episode. Yeah, you know? I'm with you. I think they started really strong out of the gate on this one. Um, it's a lot more even, you know, action I think than the first one, first series was. There's a lot going on, and it's more intriguing. Yeah, I, I think, I think maybe than the that's first why one. More storyline. There think. really seems to be. Um, you know, going into it now, they're you know they're they're back at the TVA, and like you said, you get the Kang stuff going on. They're He Who Remains, and Loki's you know time slipping back and forth so he's kind of catching shit from different angles forward and back so he kind of has a little bit more know, knowing of what's going on than anybody else but it also seems like he doesn't know what's happening right yeah so that's kind of cool like he's still stuck in the mystery of it all um you know i think that that part is intriguing to me um having um you know um obi as a new character i think is great you know, I think he's fantastic. I think he's doing a great job. Uh, yeah. No time for love, Dr. Jones. So, you know, it's great having him in. Did okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm just so happy to see him doing stuff again. I mean, for fuck, he just won an Oscar. But, like, you know, just to see him back at it and, and, and back in the saddle, you know, and, and acting again is, after all these years is really cool. Yeah. yeah uh, no. I think 
he's crushing it. I think he's doing a great job on this series. So I'm, I'm excited to see where his character goes. Um, and he's kind of like that, you know, he's the tech guy. He knows everything that's going on. Oh, because he created it. He created it all. He, he wrote the book. Yeah. Literally, he wrote the book. <laughs> he created everything. So it's interesting. And, and some of the um, mysteries, right, where Renslayer is, what Miss Minutes is up to. You know, they're obviously working together. Right. I think it's pretty bad. I think it's pretty cool. She's basically an AI that went rogue. So that's yep, very topical, yep, they, they, they said, obviously, yeah. you know, what's going I, oh on in God, our world. Yeah, it is. You know, um, so, you know, that's kind of that's kind of cool to see. I'm really excited to see where that goes with it. Um, yeah, the characters, I mean, obviously the Sylvie stuff is like, you know, we didn't really get her to the end of the first episode. We see her obviously a lot in the second episode and it kind of seems like their relationship is over. Well, you don't really see her until like halfway through the second episode. Right, but like, they're chasing like, her down. Right, yeah. But you get to see her and then she leaves again. She's just like, now nah, I'm done with this, I'm done with you. I obviously don't have anything to do with TV and who can blame her? And they tortured her her whole life pretty much, yeah. you know, yeah. chasing after her, making her stay on the run. Um, but then she's just like, she's done, I don't want to deal with this. Yep. And so, so obviously any relationship she kind of had with Loki, Yep. Loki Prime, whatever you want to call yeah. him, you know, it's like, okay, is this? It's over. It seems like she just wants to go work at McDonald's and, and be fine with her life. In, in uh, um, Nebraska? No, is it was in Nebraska? Somewhere. Omaha? Like yeah. Oklahoma. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, in, all those, in 1982. All of our listenership is just going right down Sorry. the Midwest. Uh, it's one of those places. That's fine. That's, that's right. all good. That's all okay. It's all good. So um, yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking where they're going. I'm excited for the rest of the season. Didn't think I was going to be. I mean, like I said, I, I was the same way. Like, I liked Loki season one. Yep. Loki's not my favorite character. Yep. You know, I, I've said it before. I mean, I think Tom Hiddleston is an amazing job at it. I think he's yep. great as Loki. But we've gotten a shit ton of Loki since well, because, almost the beginning, since Thor 1, yeah, since well, the first he's, Thor. He's, he's the king of the bees. He, yeah, he's been in everything. Yeah. He's got his hand in everything. You know, it's barely a movie without Loki popping in there somehow, or something. You know what I mean? Like it's it's been so much. He's played that well, character so much, right? So it's like he's kind of still going on. It's like, oh my god, do we still need him? But with this series, I think he's keeping it fresh. Yeah, and they changed him up a little bit. You know what I they mean? Should, like yeah, they well, definitely they, developed they, his character. They, they, he had right. progress to his character. Well, one of the things I really liked was the banter between him. And Owen Wilson. Yes. Is, Morbius, yeah. It's so good, man. Yeah. Like, they're, they're back and forth. And, and I wrote that on my notes, like, right, you know, at the beginning when when we seem kind of um, time slipping in and out. Like, yeah. the way that they did that looked so good. Yeah. How it was like his... It's like, like stretching. His stretching out and stretching yeah. in. And I was like, what the hell? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, they just didn't have him... Like, like that, right there. That. Yeah. <laughs> like, they didn't have him blip in and blip out or something yeah, like yeah. cheesy. Like, I liked how they did that. Yeah. Um, that was really, really cool. And and again, the 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 back and forth between him and Morbus, it's, it's awesome. And then they meet Obi, and then it's all three of them going together. Yeah. They're bouncing off. It... Like the chemistry between them, seems yeah, so definitely so good. Um, a lot of development between him and Morbius, like their their character arc over the, from the first season to second season. Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know what I mean, yeah, um, thought that was really cool. Um, the yeah, you know, he he time slipped more right in front of Morbius. So otherwise, it was like they had no idea who he was. Like he pops into a time, and they're like. We yeah, it was, the, it was the past. Right, before they had gone after him. Yeah. So, like, that was really weird. That's right. was like, like who, who are you? Who, what, what's going on? Because that's where they left us after season one. Right. It was yep. him back there. It was so. him back. And now it makes sense that it, he was, you know, in, in the beginning. Yeah. You know? Um, I, I, like, I like how when he was time slipping back and forth, and he was talking to Obi. Yeah. So, Loki was talking to Obi in the past, Obi present was talking to Morbus and he was like, what do you mean you know? He's like, yeah, that doesn't work like that. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it does. Or it does. Here, I have this. <laughs> I, I have, created this. He was like, I don't have that. Because of things Loki's oh, doing wait, in the past. Right, what's happening in the past. So it's like, it's happening as they're talking about it and then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, I do have that. Yeah. Right here. It's like, yeah. holy. So I, I, to me, that shows good writing. Yeah. You know, and I think that that's something that Bruno, if you were here, Bruno, that would be something that he would appreciate that was very well written. Would he? Um, what do you appreciate or do you think it's lazy? I'm not judging. I'm not saying it is. I'm, I'm, I think I've it's, known Bruno for 47 right, years. Right. I, do you, think, I you mean, think it was lazy or do you think it, that, that was a good plot device? I think that was a good plot. I, I liked how, I mean, I don't know. I thought it was, they didn't, they didn't allude, like they didn't dismiss it. Like, yeah. they, I'm glad that they showed us what's going on mm -hmm. while he's in the past. At the same time as they showed us what's going on in the present. Right. I like that. Because it's showing us the balance of it. it right. It's not just one thing happens and then it jumps scenes and then it's, oh, okay, I guess 
That's how, like we always say, like shit happens in between scenes that we don't see. Yeah. Well, guess what? We're seeing it. We're seeing it. We're seeing so it. So I, I like that a lot about it, and, and yeah. I, I like I like how they wrote that in. Yeah. So that was, I mean, episode one was I I really liked it. You know, I mean, there there wasn't a lot, like you said, it was it was a lot of a lot of action. Yeah. Which I liked. Yeah. You know, it kept it kept the story moving. Um, the first episode was like forty something minutes. Second yep. episode was fifty something minutes. I didn't feel like it. So that's a new thing for them. They went up. Yeah, instead of down. Yeah, usually it goes down. Yeah, they went uh, up. I mean, we'll see what episode three episode comes three out with. Like twenty five minutes. Right, just like yeah, we gave you too much in the last one. Fuck off. That's yeah, what you right. get. You get twenty three. Yeah. And ten of credits. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Basically, the whole show is like a commercial. Yeah. I, but I, like, yeah, like there was a lot going. There was a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot. There and then you know subplots movement. and things like that. Obviously, you know, trying to talk to the, what's his name, the movie star. The, the 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 um the guy who basically went rogue. Oh, uh, 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 he's a hunter. Brad, uh, yeah. Brad, Brad Wolf. Something like that. Yeah, he's the, he was the ex hunter who he went the rogue. Yeah, who now decided. he's a movie star. Right, because he saw what what Sylvie had, and he was like, you know what? Fuck that. That's what I want too. Like, I want a life. I don't I want to be just doing life. this that they stole. Yeah. So I like and and I like how they they talk more about that. Mm -hmm. It's like you know you're all kidnapped. Like you had a life. Yeah. Like this is this is real life. This is what's happening. Um, yeah, I, I I like it, man. I, I I can't wait to see see they 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 fucked us with the previews though. Why? Because before they before they launched this, they showed us a lot of Jonathan Major stuff, like and them going to the past and seeing him. I cannot wait for those episodes because it's almost like they know who he is, and yep. obviously he knows who he is. So when he sees them, like how do they? I'm just really curious to see how they play that out. Um, and hopefully they played out well and yeah. not like um, I, I don't know like hopefully they don't go look we showed you what the preview was well that was pretty much the whole scene and that's it yeah. like, I, I want I want them to build on that preview that got me to go oh, oh what yeah. happens you know so that's really it that's kind of how I feel yeah like, you know it's the branch timelines and stuff it was you think fucking bombed them they they base, they prune those branches like nobody's so business. So it's like, all right. They're Mr. miyagi those damn things really fast. Dude. Those little like, bonsai trees of things are getting really pruned. So what I saw, like after they were all said and done and after they got captured, I only saw like four branches left. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, luckily one of them was Sylvie's McDonald's. Uh, right. So and that was, was still like, there. Because otherwise okay. I think if they had taken that away from her, so that's the flip. If they had taken away what she would have done. Right, I, but it's still I, I there, wonder. so she kind of like just kind of laid low, and she's fine. But she, but she saw that, so she mm. saw what was going on. Yeah. <clears throat> so maybe something happens. Yeah, to yeah. We only two episodes in. She gets something to me. Something has to kick her back into the yeah. fight. Yeah. Right. We're only two episodes in. Uh, they got to be able to kick her back into the fight. What is? That? I think it's going eight. Six. Is it only six on That's, this one? I was looking up. It's only six. It was only six on the first one. <sighs> That's right. Yeah. That's so, right. what? So I paid attention to that as how many branches because are they going to use that as far as the quote unquote multiverse? Like, I, I, I oh, you know, nah, sure. You know, I hear what you're saying. I mean, that that's, might be a, that's a way to bring in other characters because they were on a different branch. You know, so it's yeah. not. You know, I, I know it's a different timeline, but but again, where were the mutants during New York? Well, they were on a different branch. Yeah. You know, they weren't on the sacred branch that we right, all yeah, know. Right, yeah, the sacred timeline, yeah. The sacred timeline, rather. They were just on a different branch off the timeline. So maybe, I don't know, maybe yeah. they're, they're hanging around over there. Yeah, I mean, there's still so much to be unpacked. Not only just in the season, but with the Deadpool movie and everything else, because yeah. that's going to help bring Thank a lot God. of it together. Yeah, no kidding. Thank God. Yeah, there's a lot going on, right? There's a lot going on in the Marvel universe. We can kind of get into that as well, uh, as well as talking about Loki, because I was reading some shit today too. And Good. Just like on the um, the series stuff too, how they're basically like, not many things are going to get a season two. Like they don't. So far, there's no plans for like a Moon Knight season two. <laughs> Like it, they're just they would have be, to put more Moon Knight in it. They actually have to put some Moon, but they're you know like Loki was sort of like the one that they're like okay we're gonna actually make a season two out of this. Um, some other ones get some offshoots like Agatha, you know what I mean? Like she's gonna get yeah. her her thing that comes split off of One Division and Echo, which now has been pushed to like twenty twenty five or so, or twenty. Like it's really pushed the fuck out. They're like yeah this kind of sucks. Um, but most of them are not. They're going to be like, okay, we did the series. We did a one-shot series, and that instead of doing a full movie to introduce them, that introduces them to do ah. into whether they sprued them into other movies, like, you know, Moon Knight goes into a Midnight Sun type right. of thing or, you know, into a Blade, the Blade movie that eventually will come out or yeah. something. 
Um, and then obviously everything kind of culminates with secret wars and stuff like that, where they get everybody the fuck back together. That'd be nice. You know what I mean? But like, you know, they can sprinkle these characters in and amount other things without having to make another full series out of them. You know, because they have, if you look at the plate, they've definitely spread it out. Like yeah. Ironheart's like 225 or something like 2025. I think Echo might be 2024. They put, they had, that one was done, but they pushed it out. But Ironheart wasn't finished, so they pushed it out to 2025. Well, the other thing I read today, and I don't know if you read it too, is the Daredevil Born Again. Yeah. They fired all the writers and directors. What? They fired all of them. So that's been pushed out. They fired all the writers and directors for the series. Why? Because they had started it and they started filming. They had stuff done in the plate yeah. and Feige and the rest didn't like what was happening. So essentially what was happening was Dare, it's almost like a Batman Dark Knight Nolan bullshit. He looked, took like a year off because he couldn't stop uh, Foggy and what's her name from being killed. So that excuses why they don't have the what's her I can't remember her name and yeah. Foggy aren't in the series and we knew they weren't going to be in the right. new series. They're dead. So that he took time off from being Daredevil to basically mourn or whatever because he felt like he couldn't save them and he should have been able to save them. So that was part of where they had it going and we weren't going to see him in the costume until episode four. That's where they had it was basically more of a courtroom drama. Oh, and they literally had it scheduled. He would not be in the costume until episode fucking four who wants that we saw that in moon Knight. i don't need daredevil not in the daredevil costume for three and a half episodes in a before six, you just, in a six episode series. right before you decide to finally throw him in the costume like what the hell so oh, that so so garbage. basically they didn't like what they were doing they fired all the writers and directors and they to start again you know start again fresh because the other part was they said they wanted to be closer to the netflix feel with net, the grittiness yeah. and everything like that. So, you know, John Barenthal is back. He's like he's like a star in it. He's not like a guest appearance. So most like Punisher is going to be a big part of the series as well as Wilson, Wilson Fisk. Nice. So there'll be more of a big part of when they revamp it so and redo who, it again. Who, so that's so going to be pretty cool. So wait, who who wants it more to Netflix feel like? Feige. Feige, Feige, Feige okay. and them. Oh, yeah, yeah good, they want it to so be more. So just these like, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. let's get that. That's get what that worked. I think feeling. they're kind of tired of the failures. That's the other thing I was reading. They're getting, you know, the, the, even the CEO's like kind of shitting his bricks, like all these like, f you know, uh, theater flops and everything that they're dealing with. Yeah. Between the Disney properties and the Star Wars properties and the Marvel properties, things. I mean, we got the Marvels coming out. Like, I don't think that's going to do a whole lot of money. I'll tell you what, the preview. So I saw the preview like last week for the first time in the middle of a football game. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. Yeah. The preview looked pretty cool. It looks, it, it, but I'm a fan and you're a fan. I think yeah. we'll see it. I, you know what I mean? And and I'll, I'll probably go to the theaters to see it. Do you know what I'm saying? But not everybody's going to. I don't think everybody has enough investment in that character. So people have their feelings about Brie Larson. You know, the first movie wasn't a, you know off the charts hit. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the hell out of the first one. Um, but, you know, and I don't really care one way or the other for Brie Larson. I'm not like her biggest fan, but I hate her like I hate Tom Cruise. So <laughs> I don't have like a really a, an opinion on her right, one way or the right. other. Um so you know, I'll go see it because I like the property. I like Marvel. I want to see what happens. It connects shit together. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go see it. You know what I mean. So, but I, I don't think it's gonna do as well as they wanted so to when, do. And so, it's also the shortest or second shortest. Oh really? Runtime of I any mean, of the Marvel movies. Yeah. So that leads me to my next question. Actually, that I have it's when do these movies stop becoming about the fans? So, meaning, no, I know what you're saying. They're, they're, they're trying to put movies out for the masses, mm -hmm. but it's not the masses that really get these characters. It's the fans that get these characters. Yes, the and, fans and, get the in and outs and, and, and the, all the history and, and everything. And yeah. obviously, the idea to do these superhero movies is we want it for the fan, but we also have to write it for the person who doesn't really know. Right. So well, they the did that really can, well in the beginning. I think Iron Man, like starting from Iron Man with yeah. Robert Downey, like that was fan service but like anybody could really see anybody it. could have went to it and then it was the just fans, a great action flick as it well. was so and i feel that the further down the line that we go further into old lore when they have to give like infinity saga now we have to right. do like secret wars like you kind of almost have to know about that shit or have read the comics right to understand what the hell's going on so and now, be excited about seeing it the average person be like secret wars what the fuck does that mean what is that what does i don't that understand I don't know yeah, my wife who or... likes some of these movies not all of them right right she's not what the fuck i don't care if right. i see secret wars Right, but those are the people you need to go see your movies. So your fan base is only so big. It's now, a big fan base, but it's not big enough to create yeah, billions. Yeah, now, 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 right? If you do a comic book movie, and it's as we can see, it's slowly getting towards more just the fan base going to watch it. Now you have to be really on your shit mm -hmm. when you're making these movies because the fan base is going to go. That's not right. Yes. 
That that's not how that that's shit the, that's works. That's the double edged sword. Okay, you're gonna have twenty year old Larry going. That's not the original X Men cast. Yeah. Why? Yeah, it's why not the original is lineup. That's not the original. Lineup. It's not the original costumes. Why, why, why do they? Why? Why is Storm is not an original X Men? You're gonna get people like that. Yeah. You know, and that's what I'm kind of worried about. Right. Because when you start getting that, that's when you start getting the people that are the people that are really paying money for your properties. Mm-hmm. They're going to stop doing that. Yep. And then you're gonna have to go fuck. We have to put all the superhero shit back on the shelf for another fucking 15, yeah. 20 years. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because if it really stops working, <laughs> yeah. really stops producing for them. I, I mean, you know, watching this series, it makes me think of the other series, and you know, and I, and I kind of thought about the, uh, the Nick Fury one. I, I mean, I like that, but I could see how somebody doesn't. Yeah, sure. You know? I, like, think, that, I think that series was a great espionage was, series yeah, things like really that cool but espionage. on a comic book level things like that it didn't really hit the mark for a lot of people no yeah i mean i could see why it wouldn't hit the mark no. for a lot of people but even just a, an action type thing like some people just like i don't understand what the hell this nonsense is about because again there's like we were talking about with ahsoka there's backstory and history that yeah. you've had to see for the last 20 years whatever it's been with this marvel stuff if you don't know it yeah if you don't know it, you have no idea what's going on it can't be a new li- watcher and say oh this is cool what is this about right you're not gonna know no because it, you're it, not gonna it, know about the scrolls you're not gonna understand what the harvest was and where they got all the dna from yep. things like that you've had to have seen all that stuff and at this point like the you know the infinity saga is aging yeah you know what i mean it wasn't yesterday it's a few years ago no definitely you know what i mean at least a couple prior to the pandemic yeah you know what I mean? So, so I mean, you definitely have to, you definitely have to know, and and, and I think, and we talked about this with. Um, but this is the inherent issue with running a long song, you know, long um, saga. Yeah. A one giant continuous story, versus just making individual stories or TV shows. I, I being forty seven, have watched all of these since the first Iron Man, so I've followed along. And I, I know where they're at. I know where they came from. And I, uh, hopefully I know where they're going. But not everybody is. New people coming onto this. Shit, I missed the last 15 years. Yeah. They're, they're, where, they're, where the fuck are you now? And you're lost. Because not so much a standalone story anymore. You have to know all the history. It's for so much of these properties. Going into the Marvels. Yeah, hopefully you watched Miss Marvel. Hopefully, hopefully you saw you saw you know the first uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you saw one division. So you so, know where Rambo came from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like hopefully you saw all that stuff and you're like, all right, now I'm excited to go see this because they're all going to connect and Nick Fury's there and oh, awesome. But if you didn't, if you missed some of it, you're like, who the hell are these people? Yeah, that and that's and that's what I'm worried about. Um, you know, we talked about it when, yeah, for Ahsoka, we um, we had talked about when you're trying to move forward with a story, we don't mind the little the little throwbacks, mm-hmm. but you can't rely on the throwbacks to bring everybody up to speed because yeah. then you. You just kill that story. Like you can't, I, you can't, re- you can't rely on that for just bring a whole story along. Yeah, like I don't, I don't want to watch three episodes of fucking flashbacks. We know how I feel about that shit. Like what the fuck? Like I don't mind like quick Might little. Give my back to tank. Might as well. I don't mind the here and there's, but I don't want you to write a whole fucking series or a whole season on just that. Right. Like that, you're gonna lose me because I sure. know, I know what's going on. Let's get the story going on. Tell the other people to fuck off. They, they just, and I think that's where, like, I think that's where, like, a trilogy does really well. But then this is not a trilogy anymore, right? This right. is just this is like thirty movies, plus TV series, all connected to each other. That makes it really hard. Yeah, I mean, you can watch three movies. I can watch four John Wick movies and keep talking of the story. Yeah. But you know, if they start, you know, we watch Continental, which we'll eventually get to talking to if we can get people in the seats. <laughs> um, you know, you have to have seen all. You know, you have to really would help to have seen all four John Wicks. Yeah. To understand the Continental, right? Because it's progression of Winston, and we'll get there when we talk about it. But it really helped me to know who the hell these people were and why it's important, what though, like, seeing, especially that dramatic ending. But hold on. But seeing Continental, I don't think you need to see all four, John, which you could have watched the first one and be like, oh, okay, I know what the Continental is. I, know. I feel like you have to go all the way to the fourth no, one. No way. That I, fourth one, no no spoilers, that fourth one, what happens to Winston and the concierge, like, and their relationship and their partnership and why that was so devastating. I think help that helped th- that understand the relationship in the Continental, helped to really enrich what was going on there. We'll talk about this more, but yeah, <laughs> I know you're itching, you're dying. I'm, we were, I'm we've been dying fucking dying to, to talk it. about this show for like two to, weeks now. Yeah, but I know I, I, I get it. Um, but yeah, so 
When, when, when you have, you're, you're right though, when you have trilogies, you can watch trilogy, you bang it out, you got a beginning, you got a middle, you got an end, yeah. call it a day, that's six years. Yeah. And that's your George Lucas, that's like 25. Yeah, <laughs> six, right, yeah. No, I'm only joking. It's in dog years, yes. It's in dog years, yeah. Um, no, but so, so yeah, you, you, you've got your six years, you've got your three movies, you've got your beginning, middle, and, and you're happy. But even Lord of the Rings, look at Lord of the Rings, there's three. Yeah. But then they did another three. But, but you could watch them independent, story, right? That was a completely That's what different I'm saying. Story. Yeah, you can watch yeah. them independently, even though it's the same universe. Yep. It's, and obviously, the, the next three were a prequel, really, right? Because it went back to um, so Bilbo. The yeah, The Hobbit. It was The Hobbit, which is, yes. takes place prior. So, yeah, they, I thought they only did two sets. They did The Lord of the Rings. Yeah, which and is the, a that's right. And they did The Hobbit series. And, right. But the Hobbit series takes it's, place yeah, before. before Lord of the yes, Rings. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, you know, yes. it's it's the Lucas factor, right? We, we got episode four, five, and six, and then we got one, <laughs> two, and three. Yeah, right. But, and that's fine, but you can watch them independently. Yeah. You don't have to have seen Lord of the Rings to watch, watch The Hobbit. To watch The Hobbit and understand what's going on. Yeah. Right? And, and, I mean, if you watch, honestly, if you watch it the other way around, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, so, like, that that's when it works. Yeah. Yeah, but when you when you start doing, I, I I think it's it's feeding the monster, right? Yeah. It's like we got to keep feeding, got to keep feeding it. We got to make sure that people stay tuned. Look at you, Fast and Furious twenty third, twenty twenty three, whatever the fuck you are. Twenty three and five eights. Cars driving one. on the moon. Facts. Up in space now. Um, so it's like you you know you have these you have to keep feeding the monster, and the way that they're gonna get people to watch these. Just I mean, look, we we've said it countless times. Mm -hmm. We're gonna watch because we're fans. We're gonna watch because we like continuity. And this is what they do. Mm -hmm. they, they they give you shit and they leave you on this cliffhanger that you know has something to do with somebody else. Yeah. We saw Iron Heart in 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 um fucking Wakanda too. Yeah. Right? We knew that we were gonna see Ironheart further down the line. Mm -hmm. Now we have to sit here and fucking wait. You yeah, know what Marvel's even longer now. You know what Marvel and Disney are doing? Excellent. <laughs> exactly. You will wait until we put it out. And mm -hmm. honestly, I'm going to wait. Regardless of how they yeah, put we'll it out. Whether it's on what TV or on the big screen, I'm going to go watch that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, what else you I, do? I, 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 but, you know. I think Riri was a cool character. So yeah, you got me. But this is what they're good at. They're really, really good at doing this kind of shit. I saw a fan trailer, which I fucking love and hate all at oh. the same time. Same time. I love the fan trailer. And... It was Ironheart, but it was his daughter. It wasn't really, it was his oh. daughter. It fucking made perfect sense. So they splice some shit in. Right, yeah, yeah, like yeah, basically, yeah. like he leaves her the notes in his message to her <sighs> as to how to be the next Iron Man, Ironheart. Things like, know, it's is, really is that, fucking Is that an cool. old one? Cause I, cause it it sounds, might be, might I don't be, know. Yeah. But it, it was, I just watched it the other day, so you know, and sometimes you can fucking tell on the internet how old it is. And they also like reloaded. Yeah, it just reloaded, popped up on my Instagram feed, and it's just like, I'm like, ah, oh, that would be awesome. That would have been awesome. That I would mean, be really it would have made cool. sense. To me, it would have made more continuity sense. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if his daughter picks up the mantle and I mean, she gets all, all this his technology. His wife did. Yeah, so you know, and it was basically like, you know, the people are after the Stark tech. Yeah. So she has to defend it and like keep the Star Tech protected because you know if it gets into the wrong hands, yada yada, you know it's gonna go off the chain. But yeah, yada, so like, yada, it yada. totally fucking made sense. Like this would this you just fan made a fucking better movie yeah. than they're gonna give us a series. Oh, hands down, of course, down. of course. Hands but, down. Fan, but but again, fans do that though because fans do that for the fans. Yeah. We know what we like, yeah. right? We know what we want. We know how many times have we sat here on these mics and said this is how they should have did mm -hmm. the story, and we come up with like. We literally just wrote a better story yeah. than what we got. Yeah. So it, it's because we're fans yeah. and we know what fans like. Yeah. So when I, yeah, when you I, you would see think some of those, at this stage of the game, we've been in this long enough, right? Not just us, but like the, you know, the people that are you know, making this shit, like Filoni and these guys have been in this long enough that they could fucking get it right in some ways. And I'm, and I mean, Filoni is doing it better than a lot of other people. And in some way, Feige is too, but I think some parts of it, he's still handicapped a bit by Disney. And, you that's, know what I mean? and that's what I was saying. It's, it's, you can only go as far as the bosses will let you. Right. So it's like that, you know, they can be like, yeah, sure. You can do everything you want, but we need to make sure this, this, and this, and this, and this are in that movie. Or we, you know, you need to make sure it's that like politics, we're going to create yeah. this bill and we're going to stuff it full of all this other bullshit. Oh, no, exactly. From all, that, the, you know, from all these special interest so, so groups. So it's like, shit, all that right. That make this not look like any kind of a bill that we started out yeah, to make. So yeah, so it's like, all right, fine, I want to do this movie, but in order to do this movie, it has to be this long. It has to be out of this budget. I have to have the... You know, it has to be woke. It has to have this. And we got to change these guys. Yeah, fuck. All right. Okay. Fine. All right. Whatever. I'm kind of forced to, to do what you want me to do. So. And and that's when you get some directors or writers who just bag it in and say, I'm not doing this. This fucking yep. sucks because I'm not doing it the way I want to do it. I'm not doing it the way I know it should be done. And you're just stuffing all this bullshit down my throat this, 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 to make your project. Uh, right. And, and that's, and what, that's when I'm we not going to stick uh, my name to this. Right. And that's when we get the, the movies that I don't mind if the, if the director 
was like, I, I have a vision. Yeah. Because usually we're always like, we don't want your vision. We, yeah. we have years of vision. But if his vision is this, then it's like, yeah. oh, okay, then yeah, yeah. We if want his vision's you. actually, we want his vision. her vision is sticking to yeah, yeah, yeah. the content, right. sticking to the, you know, the, the legacy of the characters or whatever, then yeah, then, give yeah, that we to want me. That di- we want that vision. Yeah. I, I, I was reading the, they're uh, prospecting the next Batman, Batman 2. Yeah. Is uh, it might, the main villain might be Hush. Oh. Yeah, I'm hoping a little hush, maybe a little, you know, court of owls, something oh. good, something good. I don't, and I know that they sneak, you know, they snuck oh. the Joker in there a little bit at the end. I hope that's all we fucking get. If if he just, I think him just remaining in there and kind of being a bit annoyance to Batman I, is okay. fine. I can take that as yep. much as I don't really need to see. A, we're gonna get Joker too, which I'm not gonna bother seeing. Yeah. And you know, whatever. We've had but Joker a, a million fucking times. World. We've had a million Jokers. Yep. So I don't really need it to see something like Hush or things like that. That you know, characters we in the Court of Owls, people we haven't really seen. I listen. That Hush storyline is probably one of my favorites. It's one ones. of my favorites too. Yeah. It's really fucking not only is good. the story great, but the artwork from Jim Lee was just fucking incredible. Honestly. Jimmy's one of my favorite artists. I love his quote when he says how much he regrets drawing the boots the way he did. <laughs> Remember the scene, the, the part where he's like, his feet is like kicking out the, the page and he's got all the treads in the boot. He's like, I fucking had to draw those treads every fucking oh, time. Yeah, he's, like, yeah. I, he's like, I shot myself in literally the foot when I made it that <laughs> detailed and had to draw the treads on the boot. Like every time you see the bottom, I got to draw those damn treads. Got to draw the treads. <laughs> yeah. It's like, son of a bitch. I couldn't just leave it flat. Flat, like everybody's done since day one. Because it's easier that way. It's you just easier. Leave the flat bottom. Yeah. Right? Um, no, that that, that hush storyline is oh, fucking awesome. awesome. It's awesome. I it's really, right up really there. Like it's up that. there as one of my favorite story arcs. Yeah. Um, the yeah so, so, so the Jim Lee art, I, I really like. It. He's one of my top favorites. He's, he's of, not my top favorite. And I think for me, it's the reason why he's my favorite because he's the one who really brought me into the comic book world. Yeah, Spider Man. Yeah. When he's on Spider Man, we did uh, X Men. So that's what that's what really brought X-Men. me yeah, into yeah. the comic world. I, you know. Early to mid nineties, Jim Lee, the X Men. Yeah. McFarlane Spider Man was right up there too, but like you know, he was. So I started watching, like I started like looking at the other ones as well, and I saw started seeing other, yeah, other uh, artists and stuff like that. But but the Jim Lee ones, because I remember I had the, the what was it? Was it Uncanny X Men? That had the five different covers. Yeah, and then you open them all no, up, all and it was one and it, giant. Like, if you put them all together, it was the whole one. Yeah. That fucking artwork, that blew my mind. That storyline was awesome. Yeah. I was like, the X-Men are so cool. I love them. And then I went back and I started doing like the back hallocks. I had a friend of mine who was a huge collector, an older gentleman, and he really got me. He saw me with comics. Yeah. He was like, are you into comics? I was like, yeah. yeah I just started getting it. He goes, I'll bring some over. He brought over a fucking box. A long like, box? So he brought over a long box. I was like, what the fuck is all this, Mike? Yeah. And then his, his sister, I was friends with I his nephew. so many fucking long boxes. Oh my God. I, so yeah, he got me into collecting, so. Yeah. Um, the Jim Lee X Men stuff I absolutely loved. Yeah. Uh, the Great Morrison for Batman. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You want to, like, yes. Uh, mm. the, 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 the Frank Miller Daredevil stuff was yeah. awesome. That was really, yeah. really good. Um, so that that's we need we need more of that. We need more yeah, of that. We do. You know. Um, and and I, I think that when they start going forward with the stories, I hope they do Hush for Batman. That yeah. Is, I would. I don't give a shit who's, if the story's done right, mm-hmm. I can get over the fact that it's Patterson yeah. in, in the cowl. I'm, yeah. I'm still not a fan of it. No, I'm not either, but if they update the cowl a little bit, they update this, the rest of the suit was actually pretty good. The cowl really pissed me off. The, but the like, you know, But it was like, you know, it was almost like year one. Okay. No, it was year two. Year two. It was year two. It was year two still. Okay, we can get better with this. Well, yeah, we let's, can make it let's, better. let's grow with it a little bit, mm-hmm. you know? I mean. The Batmobile can adapt, can you know be modified. Yeah, I mean, again, so I like the Batmobile. I like the Batmobile, though, in that movie because all the Batmobile was was a fucking car. Yeah. So. And that's really what it was originally. Then no, they that, finally that, put that no, big bat head on the right, front. That, exactly. But, you know, in, exactly. but still, now when you see the Batmobiles that we've seen, not the Tumblr, we've seen the other ones, right? Like the Burton one, one, you know what I mean? Things like that. You're like, I want something a little fucking more Batman like. Batman So now, now we get to the question. When you start, because again, Batman's been done a thousand times as much as the Joker has. We've gotten different iterations of him. What kind of Batman do you want this one to be? Do you, I mean, we, we got, we got like a real world with the, with the, um, known stuff. Known stuff. Yeah. This one is still kind of, this one's a little bit touching on real world, but it has a little more world, fantasy than known stuff. But did. some of the, I, I, it, it's not super he flew off that fucking thing and rolled, for a mile and still got up and walked away. But he was, that was hurt. Fantasy. That, that, oh yeah, he limped a little bit. That one pissed slight me off. Limp. That one really, I was like. I know. You know, you guys did that and I was in Florida. 
yeah. for my for my race that weekend. Yeah, it's not and, our fault. Yeah, we're running around, running around Disney, <laughs> running around Disney like a turkey. What are you doing? <laughs> like a turkey, jerk off. What are you doing? <laughs> turkey. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you're running around like a turkey, turkey. <laughs> I I want to see. Um, speaking of DC, though, I know, and I know that we started with it's okay with Loki. We're, we're, we're kind of doing a whole thing. Is Loki's only two episodes in? There's only yeah, so much yeah, we can go over. Right, it's like, we'll touch back on know, it, but yeah, yeah. Um, as we do. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Is is is, is it official that he's Lobo? Not official. Or? He's in talks about playing Lobo. Huh. Which, I mean, I have, it's a double edged sword for me. I don't like seeing the same actor in the same, but it's a different universe now, right? It's a DCU, so it's technically, but it's it's almost like too close. Like, didn't you just, weren't you just in Aquaman 2? That's like, not out yet, right? It will be, supposedly, Eventually. right? Minus Amber Heard. So, you know, and then it just jumps into Lobo. My wish was they just fucking didn't make him Aquaman because I don't think he made a great Aquaman. I still haven't seen him. Oh, it was horrible. Uh, I had the first movie. I mean, I liked the movie. Honestly, I liked the movie. And I loved Jason Momoa. I just, he's not my Aquaman. He's just not my Aquaman. Who's your Aquaman? Uh, he's, I mean, obviously the 80s is when I, we grew up. Man. So, like, that Aquaman's my Aquaman. But I don't mind. I like the other uh, Aquaman with the blonde hair, with the long, and the beard, and the hook for the hand. That, that's cool. I like that shit, too. That was a little bit more gritty. I've read all those books as yeah. well. Um so I mean, just just Jason Momoa just was not my Aquaman. Like it just didn't really fit for me. I was a little surprised when they casted him. Yeah. When I heard that Jason Momoa, I was like, I was like, wait, you mean the dude? Because you know, I really didn't know him yet. I was like, wait, you mean the dude from Drago, fucking whatever. Drago? Yeah, from from Game Drago, of Thrones. Whatever his name was, yeah. He's gonna be Aquaman. Yeah, it talk? just it just didn't it just didn't fit for me. Um, yeah. It's never really fit. You know, there was a couple of funny parts in the Justice League movie, things like that. He had some things, but like other than that, just never really worked for me. He definitely will make, will make a kick ass Lobo though. Looks, I mean, you I, paint yeah. that face, and he's fucking Lobo. He's low. He easily can fit into Lobo. Yeah. Easy. That's that's the typecasting. Yeah. Right, like that's what that's the role he's almost born to play for um, a character, for a superhero character, obviously a villain. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, that's that's a no-brainer for me. Aquaman just never fit. Never fucking fit. But are they going to do that, though? Uh, I mean, it's. I mean, that's who knows. That's what it says on all over the internet, but it's the internet. You grain of salt, you know what I mean? You know, uh, I mean, is, is he in talks? Maybe, but will actually come to fruition? Who knows? Who when knows? Is it, when does when the DC stuff supposed to start? <clears throat> Some, Next year? Sometime now. 25? No, I think so. Yeah, and there's been a lot of there's been a lot of pushback stuff. Have you seen recently with all the D another because supposedly <laughs> there's there are talks oh, that Universal is going to buy Warner Brothers, which means they're going to own DC. Oh God! So that's going to fuck up his whole thing too. You are talking about a merger, a bought out. The companies get bought or merged or whatever. They're going to fuck with every Universal is going to come in and fuck with everything. Oh yeah, James Gunn, you had all this plan. Well, guess what? We have different plans for you. Oh God! You think we're gonna get any quality anything out of DC in the next ten years? You're out of your mind. Who did the original Batman? Was it that Universal? Batman eighty nine. No, it was always Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers owned them. Oh forever. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. They've owned them forever. So you. <sighs> yeah. So. So this just goes to prove that nobody really wants this fucking property. <laughs> nobody really wants. But, I mean, nobody that, wants that, Warner Brothers. Nobody really wants DC stuff. Like we all want it. But nobody knows what the fuck to do with it. Yeah. Because again, you have no, you know, James Gunn, great. He's like the Kevin Feige now of that thing. He was supposed to be. He's supposed to be. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't, you know. They're waiting way too long to put anything out under the new regime. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Well, they're still not done putting out the old stuff. They still got to put out Aquaman 2. And then had, but then you had a writer strike, and now it's the actor strike, and there's like you know the SAG after stuff still going on. The strikes are still happening, so like you know, thank God the writer stuff is over. But there's still other stuff going Why on. The so hell? like, there's still an issue with getting everybody on board, starting to actually do anything. I don't I don't understand why they just didn't take whatever was left and go. You know what? We're fucked. We did it to a bad girl. Which uh, pisses me off. So why don't we just take? Uh, uh, Aquaman 2 and say fuck off with it. Make it as a write off? Write how, many, off. how many write offs can you take? I don't know. Because Maybe that's the issue. I, I, like, I, I mean, can't write I mean, this they, off they, too. They had everything done yeah. and then they were waiting. And Blue Beetle it? did nothing. Oh, Jesus. Fucking nothing. That I made have, I no money. That, in a while. That, well, that made no money. Um. Oh, shit, you look it up right now. Uh, I don't <laughs> so, even know if I can... Well, vamp while you do it. So, you know, that made no money. Who knows what Aquaman 2 will make? 
probably more than Blue Beetle, but I don't know that it'll make its money back. Especially with everybody's sort of disdain and distrust for the DC stuff at this point. <clears throat> Coupled with the Amber Heard stuff, you mix that in, she's not really in it. So so that's what I was thinking. Like, when, when all this shit was going on, how come... The, oh, what the fuck? Um, why didn't they just see the writing on the wall and go, listen... We, 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 we can't keep this broad we can't keep this person in our movie with all this shit going on well I mean I think they just pretty much edited her down to like two little scenes or something from what I heard oh I mean he has a son he has a kid in this movie he's got a baby but <clears throat> and, and his mother's back in it played by um, what's her face but uh, you know she the Amber Heard's really not much in it the mom isn't really in it oh oh he had a kid Mira's oh. really the kid is the, is the mother Find this. So, you know, it's who knows? Who knows what's going to become of it? But I don't think that movie's going to do very well, unfortunately. And fortunately, because just kill off that property, just let it die and let Jason Moe move on to something else and don't keep beating that dead fish. And, uh, you know, we'll move on to bigger and better someday. You know, like I said, hopefully this, if this universal thing actually happens, <laughs> it doesn't really screw everything up too bad. But I feel like it will. Uh, you know. <clears throat> But um, sorry. I, that's okay. Take your time. Take your time. I can play the button again if you need me to. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, what, sorry. I don't know why it's, it, it's giving me a, it's giving me a pain in the ass. Well, you just go to IMDb. It's usually wrong, but it's close. So usually it's close. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So Loki season two. Loki season two. What the fuck? Where is this? I don't know. Loki season two. Strong start. Strong strong start. Strong start. I really like it. I'm looking forward to the rest of this season. Yeah. Um, what do you think they're going to go with this? I mean, that this will probably be the said this two seasons, and that's it. And it'll start leading into the actual Secret Wars stuff eventually. Right. Are we going to see a lot more of him and them before that? Because that's a few years away, too. Are we going to get left hanging like we have with everything else at the end of this season, like we did with, you know, Ahsoka? Right, yeah. we got left hanging into what they're gonna do. Got left hanging in Ahsoka. Um, I, I think that they, 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 it has to, has to lead into, has to lead it more into more multiverse shit. Yeah, and then I think I don't know if Deadpool three got to push back a little bit because of the strike. I think that because that was supposed to have started filming, but then it didn't because they couldn't make changes or any edits to the script while they were doing it. Stop with the fucking pushbacks. Enough. Well, it's now they don't have to. Now the strike is over, but they had to. They couldn't start filming it when you had a writer's strike. Because if they need to make any edits to the script on the fly, they couldn't. Right. You know, if the script, you know, because the script, it might be locked, but, you know, you can still make edits as you go. Things aren't working. You got to revamp or whatever. So, but they couldn't do that with the strike going on. So now that it's over, they can move forward with it. Why can't I just get an easy number? I, I I don't know why this is being the way it is right Should now. Should I just look it up on IMDb? Will that help you at all? I, sure. Okay, I'll, I'll do that while you talk. How's that sound? Jesus Christ on a motorbike. Can't do that. Blue Beetle, right? That's what we're looking up? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Let's see. Blue Beetle. I know this is kind of way off. Now. Oh, I got it. All right. <laughs> Did so you get it now, Larry? Yeah. Oh, budget was $104 million. 104 Yeah. Worldwide I goes. I got 120 I got 104 Oh, it's estimated on IMDb. Oh, yeah. No, so I'm on the numbers.com. I find. I, I, okay, I think well, I so what's their worldwide? So, uh, Gross. worldwide because is 128 I, Yeah, that's what IMDb. So it's made its money back, but it's not a hit. It's made its money. If it's 120 budget and it's made 128, yeah. it's at least made its money back. But, plus we, but, eight. but we, we, we've done this. In order for it to be a success, you yes. need no, to no, have it's not a success. Two five or three. And it's not a success. Nobody's calling it a success. I'm saying at least it made its money back. So they're not in the, you know what I mean? They're not in the red on this one. They this didn't get true. fucked. They didn't get fucked on. We're like, oh shit, yeah. we just lost a ton of money on this. Dude. They at least broke even. 120 million. Because yeah, 120, maybe the, who knows if the marketing budget's in there too. Right, which obviously was about five dollars, since they never fucking saw anything about it. My God, they paid for like a couple of podcasting ads. And he, and, <laughs> that yeah, was about right. it. And here's the thing: domestically, it only made seventy-one. Right. Yeah, you needed the worldwide on that. 
So, I mean, you need the worldwide to make eight million dollars to make his money back. To at least make his wow. money back. Yeah, sad. That's man. Funny. There was no advertising Crazy. for that one. They really gave up on that because they just figured like this is this universe is ending. So, who gives a shit? Which was a real slap in the face of the character and, you know, everybody who wanted that character out yeah, for so long. You know what sucked. I mean? He feels like DC's, you know, version of uh, Nova. <laughs> because they, people have been clamoring for a Nova why, something. Why, though? People love that character. I don't know why. I don't really care much about him. I couldn't care less. But I know there's the a Nova, strong... The Nova core and... There's a strong fan base for Nova. Yeah, I don't... And people love him and it's just like, they're like, yeah, nah, we're not really gonna do much with him. Talk about movies that... That people want or haven't seen. Have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy three? Did yeah. you? Have oh yeah, you, I did see it. It's on Amazon, right? I think I have to watch that at some point. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I you know I just I don't know they did enough with um, Adam Warlock. Okay. Like I I don't know. He just he did he didn't hit for me. Okay. Yeah, you know, and, and part of it's the actor who played him. I, not that I don't like him, I like him. I just don't think he was quite right for that role. So it was bad casting. It was bad casting. Oh. Um, it he, he didn't look. He doesn't convincing either like not just his size but like the makeup and the costume seemed a little bit low brow a little low budget for me okay like you could like dude this dude's just wearing like something on his forehead and some face paint like i can tell where the with the costume department the makeup department just painted his face his <laughs> gold is just not working yeah you know yeah. what i mean like it's just it just didn't hit for me in any sort of way the costume was like this gold, but it was very muted and well, like I mean, it's not shiny, but, you know, I mean, like yeah, a reflection. But yeah, like, but the character itself though wasn't really drawn. Like, oh my god, it's basically just you know what, and and not until he actually ends up getting the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, you know, he was just kind of like a gold dude who had the, like a cape and yeah. I was asked, it yeah, just I was, it didn't it didn't hit for me. I was it never into hit. those like space ones. Like the, yeah, like this, the like cosmic the, characters. Yeah, yeah the no. cosmic characters. Yeah, I never I was never into like you guys suck. I don't whatever you like him Uatu fucking. Yeah. Like, a lot of those cosmic characters. You're not a like, Silver Surfer fan? I didn't mind Silver Surfer, though. Um, but what I like, I, I think I liked Silver Surfer just because he was in everybody's fucking... Con like, you want to talk about crossovers. That yeah. motherfucker was crossover into everybody's <laughs> like, he's shit. He's a daredevil. He's a yeah. daredevil from, like, from space, yeah. He was crossover into everybody's shit. So you yeah. always saw him. So I didn't collect Surfer comics. Right. But... I, I, you know. You had I, him in other comics. I had so. him in other comics. I wasn't like, oh my God, I you don't want to read this. Yeah. You got your surfer, Phil. I got you. You know, so, I mean, again, like, my, my, my comics were the X-Men. I fucking love the X-Men. Yeah, mine were Batman. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. I Which, had, I mean, I had long boxes of other comics, but I had, you know, but they were always mixed. Spider-Man, some X-Men, some whatevers, right? Yeah. And then some really fucked up, like, you know, uh, um, um, random ones. But then I had, like, bunch of long boxes with just Batman. Yeah. It was just like this, okay, these are my Batman boxes. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, that's yeah. my everything else boxes. You know what I mean? There was no other one box that had like one singular title or characters in it. Even my Superman ones. Like, there was, there, and I love Superman, but there wasn't like a full on long full box on, of just yeah, Superman. Yeah, for you it was Batman, yeah. For Batman, it was, that's Which, the one I had the most. Hey, everybody that, that I had the, them. I had the comics, I had the graphic novels, the hardcover bullshit, I had everything. Yeah. You've seen the picture. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the picture. Like yeah, it was everything. I still have a lot of that I shit lot, too. I had a lot of the Punisher stuff. I liked Punisher, so I had a lot of his shit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so for, for me, because it was the '90s when I started getting into it, it was like you know maybe 13, yep. 14. Um, and for me, it was all about you know I, I wanted the rough, I wanted the gritty. Yep. You know that's what I liked. I, that's why you know I liked the X Men. I liked Daredevil. Yeah. You know the, the man with no fear was mm. fucking awesome. Um, you know I liked. I had the. Um, what was the graphic novel? Uh, Punisher, uh, Civil War, mm -hmm. uh, the Civil War graphic novel series. Uh, you know when when he goes to jail and he had to get a face transplant, kind of like Face Off, and he mm -hmm. came out as a black guy. It was kind of weird, um, but I, I, I mean, it, it was like that's the kind of shit that I was really mm -hmm. really into. Um, I liked mutants. Mm -hmm. I liked the fact that you didn't have to explain how or why, like every other comic, and that's kind of how X Men came to be. Sure, they don't have to explain um, how they have, got it. Yeah, they didn't get it was a Ray Ray Strider or, or Gamma some Rays sort of or something. Whatever. Yeah, and they were just like, yeah, you know what? They just have this fucking gene, and when they hit puberty, basically, it. just activates. And it happens and it pops. Yeah. So that was really cool, and I like the idea that they had the the biggest the reason why and and. Um, the X Men characters that decided with like with Wolverine that they had from different places was because every comic book character all looked the same. They're all white people. Yeah, and they were like, "We well, need to." We, they were they were they were trying to diversify, they, diversification. Well, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to sell. It was a 
it was a marketing ploy. They wanted to sell their comics sure. to other people other than just little white boys. Yeah. They wanted, you know, they they wanted the little black kids to go, hey, I look like that, or the little Native American yeah. going, hey, I look like that. So that's why when we got the X Men, the first one with uh, with Wolverine, he was from Canada. You know, they had Canada. They had um, one of them was from Japan. Yeah. Um, so they had like these different, you know, Banshee was from Ireland because right. you need him. You know, yeah. you need somebody from another country. It's like, oh, okay. So for me, well, it was I the unity, was, right? They're all brought together because of because somebody wants to fucking draw. That's, yeah, well, there's that too. Yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I I thought that that was really really cool. That that's what made me get into the comic book world. Um, for me, it was the artwork. Yeah, well, half the time artist, I couldn't yeah. give a shit less of all the story. Yeah. I read them, I read them all, but like the stories part, like until you get to some certain ones like Dark Knight Returns and Hush and all that kind of stuff. Like those stories are very intriguing. I like those um, public enemies and the Superman, Batman, yeah. the world's finest. Like I've really collected those. But like for me, it was the artwork. Yeah. Like when I and I went back and read some old stuff. I loved Neil Adams stuff when he he and Denny O'Neill did Batman. They mm -hmm. really started making him, you know, muscular and you know it was but very he wasn't different. Just a star. <laughs> yeah, with the big smiley grin. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Which it has to be off-putting when a criminal comes up to you and just says, why are you smiling at me like that? <laughs> Cut it out. Stop it. It's creeping me out. Um, so, you know, it's just, it was different for me. It was like I definitely had a different attachment to it. And I just, you know, so I would, my friend John and I would just like grab the comics. We'd read them and then we'd try to draw them. Yeah. I, but again, I, I still mean, have a lot of little shit <laughs> lying around somewhere in my art portfolio. Well, but, that, but that's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, you're an artist. So that... It makes sense, mm -hmm. you know. That's what's that's what you're gonna gravitate yeah. to. You're gonna see that. That you're gonna see that cover art, and yeah. you're like, wow. Yeah. Oh, the Ghost Rider stuff. I loved. I yeah. loved the Ghost Rider shit. Um, I, I like I like Johnny. But Blaze. that's why I would follow like Jim Lee and those guys, yeah. and Todd McFarlane and all those guys because I wanted to see Neil Adams. Obviously, I wanted to see their artwork. And then it became like they started switching how it was produced. Like the actual comic itself so like not just when even when computer stuff came along and people were just doing so much of it on that but like even like when the mcfarlane and things like that the paper was a more almost like a glossy or soft touch paper and it wasn't like that sort of like newspaper oh yeah yeah, rag yeah. Yep, paper yep, anymore yeah the quality of the actual just yeah, yeah the quality of the actual book yeah not a graphic novel just a regular, regular, regular weekly regular monthly yep. comic no, book was better yeah it went up in price but it was better quality i was okay with that i was okay with it too it seemed to last longer uh you didn't have the same smell to it but it was just it was there that glossy somewhat glossy that well, artwork didn't it have that felt smell. so much looked so much better well yeah because you could the lines are so much cleaner. Oh, no, it was so much, much clearer cause, looking. Cause it was like, it's like, you know what? The best way to describe it is like, it's like using a laser jet printer. Yeah. Opposed like the old fucking- like, Dot mail, yeah, the ditto machine. The, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, you know, when we got the old comics on that newspaper field, yeah, like the lines see are the smudged. Dots. Yeah. You can see the dots. On the newer shit, it's all clean lines, yeah. super sharp. So yeah, yeah definitely, I could definitely see that. Yeah. Um, to go back to Marvel, is there anything that like, that really, that you can't wait to see? Like, is there anything that you're looking forward to? On the Marvel side of it? Yeah. Um, shit, some of the stuff has been pushed. Um, there isn't anything I'm really like, oh, I can't wait till this comes out right now that I know is coming. Um, you know, the Blade, oh, I have my struggles with the Blade. Um, I, w I really wanted to say that, but I can't. Um, unless they start throwing some other characters like Moon Knight might be in it or Punisher or something like that. Why is it taking so long? The, I think it was a writer issue, not just a writer strike, but I think they like they oh. revamped it a couple of times. Well, like the first like, kind of like ninety four pages or something. Yeah, like but that. they restarted it a few times. Like they kind of revamped all what the movie's going to be about, and that doesn't really instill a lot of security and you know what I mean confidence in what that movie's going to turn out to be if they've had to like redo it three times. Um, so that that there's that. Um, what about you? Because I, I don't know. I can't really. I can't really. I couldn't care less for about Echo. I, I don't really care about Agatha. I don't. You know what I mean? Like I saw her. She was great. That's fine. I, we got the. Uh, we, I thought we got a resolution on that in One Division. So like, yeah. if they ever left it, left it at that. I'm totally fine. So I'm I'm looking at this little thing here. Um, I mean, other than obviously far down the line when you get to Infinity. I mean the uh, um, the new stuff. So right, the for, Kang for Dynasty me, and it's Deadpool yeah. three. That's, yeah, that's the next one. That Deadpool. I'm really yeah, I just say and, Deadpool. And, it, and that looks like it's coming out in May. Um, I'm on right now. I'm looking at uh, the pop first dot, cur mm. dot, dot com, and it has like a timeline. Yeah. Um, the X Men '97. I really can't actually wait for that. I the can't, cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon. 
I really want. I love that cartoon. <laughs> Just the theme song alone. I'm yeah. like, oh my god, here it is! Oh my god, it's on! It's on! I can't. I can't wait to see that. So really for me, it. does the does it gonna hold the same nostalgia? I think so. Is I, it going to be like the He Man Revelations, which I liked? The new Kevin Smith stuff. Yeah, we, I liked it, we, we, we and it's a continuation this. of the original series. Right. right, picks up from that, but obviously the animation is very different because because of what they can do. It's not the filmation where they're so, it's the same running away shot fifty times and they so you're reusing the, the right. same so shit over and over. You're, you're the artist, right, yeah. in the group. Looking at this, how, what would you want? Would you want the same animation, the same drawing, like that same? Would you want it like that? Or do you want it to no, be? No, for X-Men, no. Yeah. I want it updated. You want it updated? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of do. Okay. I don't want it like totally, but I, yeah, I do want it. Like I want the same charm, mm -hmm. but I want it updated. Oh, a well. little bit. A little bit. Not too much. I don't want to go too far away and look like a completely different show. Right. You know, it's trying to pick up from where they left off. Yeah. There is that problem, that inherent problem with when you do that. So, well, so to take it back to another point, I today I just watched the first two episodes of Frasier, the new Frasier series. Oh, okay. On Paramount, no, not the old series, the that new one, the Jesus. new one, the yeah. new one, the new one. No, no, I'm still watching Hardcore Point. Um, on my background stuff, but I finally got a chance to sit back and watch the first two new episodes okay. of Frasier, and it's interesting. Um, the first episode was not bad. The second episode definitely got me hooked more than the first one did. Okay. So if you can stick through the first one, watch the second, because it's too out right now, I would say give it a watch. You know, I knew it was going to be tough going at first. Because well, like what makes right it tough out of the, you, well, right out of the gate, he, you know, I'm going to give a little spoilers here. He's getting on the, getting off the plane in Boston and just basically because he meets up with an old friend okay. for that he used to work with or go to school with or whatever. He's basically the drunk English guy. Okay. Who's kind of the Niles replacement. Um, he he gives him the entire backstory of where he is now after the last 20 years. Done. You got like the whole spiel. His father's dead. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Martin died. Right. Um, Freddie lives in Boston. We haven't seen Lilith yet, but I know she's coming into yeah. the show because these BB Nerds on the cast list. Um, so Freddie's there. He come. Freddie's. He comes with David, Niles, and Daphne's son. He's the one who helps him get back to Boston. Okay. And he's going to Harvard. Gotcha. So uh, and he's just as neurotic. He's he's as spunky like Daphne, but he's as neurotic as Niles. He's clean <laughs> and right. shit. He's got. He's like I have an. Somebody's like, do you have allergies? He's like, here I have a contaminated card. They're like, holy fuck! Like this is like two sided. He's like the <laughs> ones in red are, are will kill me. Those oh, are Jesus. death ones. They'll they'll die. <laughs> the other ones are just mild annoyances. So it is really funny. But um, you know you have he goes through the whole thing right because he was in the end of the series the original series he moves to Chicago he's supposed to go down to San Francisco but he turns and goes to Chicago because that's where the girl the um, uh, uh, what do you call it uh, dating lady okay. you know she she moved back to her to Chicago and he goes and follows her so he married her and now it's twenty years later they're divorced. Oh. They're divorced. And it was funny how he kind of goes at it when he's just like. So Frazier's had two wives. No, he's had like four. Oh. So, oh yeah, he's had four. So he actually, when he got out there, he had a TV show. So he was on, he's been on television. He's like a big star now. Okay. He's a, like a talk show, you know, Fair, he's a talk show. So he's been so a big star. Show, kind of like. Was, uh, so in his own show, he had his own radio show. Now, now he, in his new show, he, he had a TV he show. He had a TV show. But he's, he's left that. Right. He's like, he's like, I left him. You know, they were on the floor on their knees. Like, you just be on your knees begging. I'm already out the door, which is exactly what my wife said to me <laughs> when she left. <laughs> you on knees begging. I'm out the door. So, like, that cut off both of those things right off the bat. So, you knew exactly what happened to the okay. new wife. She's gone. Why she's, she's gone. not in the thing. So, they kind of re they kind of ran through all the what happened, right? And where he. This is the they, question. They brought you up to date within five minutes, the oh, five minute that's opener. Nice. So, you move forward and you go through it. But, uh, like I said, the first episode was good. I enjoyed it. And I really started laughing. Hard at the second episode, you really get some good, okay. some good so, old-fashioned Fraser laughs. Now, okay, so so you you just hit it. You said old-fashioned Fraser laughs. Huh. Is this a show for somebody that knows who Fraser is? In a way, yes. You have to have some background. So you have to have some background. A little bit of background helps. The very first episode is called The Good Father, which is a play on the original first episode, which is called The Good Son. Oh. So, because Frazier moves back to, you know, back to Seattle right. and Martin comes to live with him. And right, he's being right, the right. good son by letting his father live with him. 
and trying oh, to be okay. that good and also kind of understand Martin because Martin's like the crotchety old guy who doesn't like anything about Frazier. Right. He's super embarrassed about him because, yep, yep. you know, and, and Frazier's embarrassed about his father because he is, you know, he's got all these it's beautiful. The yeah, he's got all this beautiful furniture. His father's got the duct taped lounge <laughs> chair with the horrible fabric. That's one of my favorite episodes when he when it launches, it go, catches on fire and launches off the balcony and shatters. And so, like, Frazier buys him a new chair, and it's, like, mm-hmm. this beautiful leather thing. He's like, I don't want it. So then eventually, Frazier, he's like, I got a new one for you. Is, is he sitting on it? No, he oh. wasn't sitting on it. It was, like, it was all packed on the balcony because they were doing something on the inside. They, they fucked up something on the inside, so they had to pack on everything on the balcony, and it gets launched. And it was so fun. And I'm kind of way off topic here, but Frazier ends up having hit the the chair remade from scratch he's like i looked up the fucking company that made it and once i could get them to actually admit that they made this because it was horrible looking once i could right. get them to admit that they actually produced this they had to track down the fabric and everything he goes just so you know oddly enough this is now the most expensive piece of furniture in this entire apartment it cost him so much money because oh they had to reweave the fucking fabric because it was like from the 70s right yeah right so they had to reweave the fabric and everything because he had pictures and whatever so they had to reweave it to make him that new chair oh jesus <laughs> this is oddly enough this is the most expensive piece of furniture in the whole car apartment now so <laughs> anyway so the new show is called the good father he comes to live but he doesn't originally come he kind of gets talked into right r- teaching at harvard Oh, so he comes and now he's gonna live with Freddie. But he buys he buys the building. Freddie, he's mad rich because of the TV money. He buys the building and tries to get Freddie to live with him because he was living across the hall. It's a whole thing, but it's really good. So it's basically now the rules are switched. He's the annoying father, and gotcha. Freddie, who was going to Harvard, dropped out of Harvard because he just like this Freddie's not me. His son. Freddie's his son. Gotcha. Freddie's like this is not me. I want he wanted, he turned out to be a firefighter. Right. Okay. And Frazier's like, of course, like, oh, my my son who was a genius and a fucking going to be an amazing therapist or, you know, psychologist is now a firefighter. Noble profession, but... Different sides, yeah. Different sides, right? And he's just hanging with the dudes from the firehouse, drinking beers, and you know what I mean? He's a guy's guy. Yeah, so it was fun. It, it was, like I said, if you get a chance, I know it just kind of described the whole thing. Sorry for the spoilers, but it, it is actually, if there's some good stuff in there, it's definitely by the second episode, some good laughs. Some old-fashioned Frazier laughs. Like, yeah. I thought, you know... I might have to jump on that. And I need I need a good comment. I know, like, you know, obviously a lot of the writers aren't. It's not the same writers and things like that. The producers, half the producers died, so that's not a problem. I mean, well, they died in 9-11. Oh, shit. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, Peter Casey. I think it's either Peter Casey or David Angel. There was three of them. It was Peter Casey, David Angel, and another one. There's three producers who produced Frasier. They produced Wings. They produced a lot of that stuff. And then part, part of it, they, do, they did Cheers as well. Two of them were coming back from Cape Cod and were on the, one of the planes that came oh, out of Boston shit. right into the towers. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, they lost two producers right away. Two big time like TV producers. Yeah. Like these, these two guys, well, they were like big time. Like I said, they did a lot of stuff. Yeah, sad, very sad, very, very Super sad. sad yeah. So, yeah, nothing like bringing down the downer on the last part know, of the episode, right? but uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit of television trivia history for you there. Oh, sad, unfortunately, sad history. Oh. Um, but yeah, so big, big, big wigs in the industry, so sad days, but yeah, I like, at least I love Frasier. Definitely go watch it. Um, I'm wondering, you know, I know Roz is going to appear at one point, she's on the cast list for like one episode. Roz will come back. Yeah, is it going to be just like a quick, like, little... Yeah, it'll be a quick... She's coming through Boston for something, most yeah. likely. She's not going to stick around. Um, and Lilith will be in more of it. She's slated for a few episodes. Um, first season, there's nothing about him going back to Cheers. He meant he talked about it. Well, but Cheers isn't there. Cheers is still there. No. Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? Well, no the, the, actual, the actual set's gone. But the the, no, the bar is getting the bar. sold. It's sold. No, no, no. I mean the, the cheers, the fictional cheers. Oh yeah. The okay, fictional cheer. What the hell is he talking about? The, the real, fiction. the real life. No, I know They're that. Like I, that I read. No, the fictional cheers. It's still, the, oh. it was still when he because they all they, most of them appeared in Frasier. That was me. I, I tapped this. Oh, tapped the spring. The f- <laughs> a little extra pang for the kids at home. Um, <laughs> yeah, the fray, the original, the cheer, the fictional cheers is still there. Oh, okay. And okay. And, and Sam was still running the bar. And oh no shit. Woody was still working there, even though he was a, like a congressman. He was still working at the bar. <laughs> yeah, he and his, he and Kelly had a kid who's like oddly enough. Frazier and Sam's like, no, he's smart, smart. <laughs> Frazier's like, wow, genetic skips a generation. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Oh yeah, you saw. I think I had mentioned this before. You saw every single cast member from Cheers appear in Frasier except for Kirstie Alley. 
because she was a Scientologist and they don't believe in uh, therapists, psychologists. Oh. So because of her religion, they wouldn't allow her to appear in Cheers. I mean, Frasier. Frasier. Because it's, wow. the entire show is yeah. based on based a psychologist, on a psychologist, therapist. Yeah. So they wouldn't let her appear. They basically wow. gave it like that. Yeah, we don't really dig that. So she didn't appear. But everybody else did. No shit. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, and a little, really. again, a little trivia there. I, I may have mentioned that before. I apologize. So, yeah, I liked it. I liked, I liked Loki. I'm looking forward to more of that. I am. Yeah. Um, so I'm bring it back hoping to Loki. we get more. You know, I know they, said they, they, they have not slated another Moon Knight series. I would love to see another series before they jump into some movies. Because, well, again, no, they left well, us hey, on a cliffhanger. Look, not for, not for nothing, though. If, Unless if he does his own movie. Unless right, he does his own movie. But if he's coming in on Blade, according to this, at 25. Yeah. <coughs> 2025 is when Blade's coming up. Right. So what we're not going to, how fuck? long is it going to be before we, right? So that's the next time we're going to see fucking Moon Knight. And they left us on a cliffhanger, right? You got the, you know, get the other personalities dropped in. Yeah. So like, uh, shit. And, and, and if he comes into, let's say, Blade, how much of him and that, that story, uh, the other personality, are we going to bother seeing? None of it, because it's not yeah. really about him. He's just a B character in the movie. Yeah. He's a supporting character to Blade. Yep. So you really don't get a chance to see much of his what's going on. See, so you're that, just going to leave us in this fucking cliffhanger and that's it? You're going to do nothing with that, the property? That, that really sucks because, and, and, and this is, fuck, man. We've gotten, we, we, we've gotten characters that play with each other, mm -hmm. right? In other movies, like we saw the Black Knight, we heard Blade, right? We've seen Moon Knight. You know, we. I, I want them to bring up. There's been talks about bringing a Ghost Rider back into the yep. MCU for fucking. Every well, that's day. The, the, the Midnight Sun. Well, that that well, that's the whole group of them. But right. the Midnight Suns, there was a. There's been different ones, like Doctor Strange was in them too. Right. So it, what I'm saying is, like, you've you've introduced us to different characters at different times, but yet, when where the fuck are we gonna get them all? I mean, there, there's that challenge, right? The actors age. It's not a comic book where super, uh, Batman yeah. can be 28 forever. You know what I mean? Or whatever the fuck the, 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 the number is, right? Superman can be 29, whatever, for, 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 for 95 years, right? So you got you to think about that. Number two, when can you fit this all in? You got to produce all this shit. You get, not that they don't have the money. They got the fucking money. But you got to produce all these yeah. things. You got to write it all. You gotta get quality writers to write this shit. Otherwise, it's gonna keep going the same way. You gotta get better writing. The problem, and Bruno has talked about this too, they just push them so fucking hard. Yeah. The animation, everybody, it's just like we gotta crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, crank it, and that's when you get the shit. That's when you get yeah. bad produced crap. So hopefully, they, you know, and one of the things they've tried to do is slow it down. That's why all this shit's pushed off because they're trying to slow down the slate so they can take their time a little bit and make it better quality. Still waiting to see that. Looking at you, She-Hulk. You know what I mean? But I'll we'll leave She-Hulk alone. I can't. I enjoyed it, but it could have been so much oh, better. Of course it could. But you know what? The what with She-Hulk, I was like, all right, it was there. It sucked. It was exactly what it was. I wasn't expecting a lot out of it, to be I honest. I was expecting a lot of it, but I was expecting better. I was expecting more out of Hulk. In the She Hulk. That, <laughs> that, that pissed me off. The Hulk, Hulk and then his kid. The Hulk right, and She Hulk really like, sucks. Uh, yeah. I, but supposedly, it's, you know, that's not permanent. The Mr. Fix of the Smart Hulk is not permanent. Like, that whatever he did to himself to make him that way, supposedly, is not permanent. So, supposedly, in going forward, it'll start reverting back. Cool. To more the rage monster, to more Good. the, you know what I mean? To, Get a World War Hulk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that we've introduced his son and all the other parts yeah, of it, we should that. get something going on. You know what I mean? I mean, and, and if they could play nice with Universal, we could actually get like a Hulk movie. I thought they already had it back. I don't know if they have it back. I think they did. I think they got it back. I think they check. I think, I think they finally got Hulk back. Because I think the only one not in the house now is Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure they bought it back from Universal, like they let it lapse or whatever, and then, and and uh, Disney bought back the Hulk. It was very recent. So I think Spider Man's the only one left out there now. Sons of the MC regarding the potential. Yeah, I think I, I want to say recently, so we can drop it in the comments. Tell us on Instagram because I'll post this up. Yeah, or I, Facebook. I'm looking. At, I'm just like Let scanning it real quick. Drop it in the drop in the comics. Yeah, Where's somebody, Michael? Somebody, where are you? Where are you, Michael? Michael, what, Michael find us. Find out for it, will you, buddy? I can't. I can't do. I can't remember. I could have sworn I saw something about the fact that the Hulk is now back with Marvel. Well, I mean, they're they're allowed. 
they're allowing obviously they can, Hulk they, to stream on Disney Plus. Yeah, that's part of it. So that's, I think that's why that's part of it. They they have the rights and something something happened to it, the Hulk is back home and they can do Hulk movie. They can do stuff with it now, and they can stream and they can do things. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened, and that would be nice. We'll never get Spider Man back. Because Sony will just keep, we talked about this, Sony will just yeah. keep producing crap of con crap just to keep the property going. Just keep the property going because they know that. Well, even if they don't make money from the movies, they make money from the video games. Well, they make money well, from no, everything. They, they well, make no, money no. from the movies. Don't get me wrong. That last one did it very well. well. Not only that, but here's the thing. All they need to do is come up with some Spider-Man content to yeah, keep the rights, right? So that's what they can do. They can so come they up with all these offshoot look, movies. They're going to do three shit movies. Mm-hmm. And then they look at Marvel and go, so you want to do a Spider-Man? Yeah. Okay. Well, you, Spider-Man 4. You know the rules. Yeah. You can do Spider-Man. We want 80% of it yeah. or whatever it is. So whatever money that Which they get. Which for us get, is great. We get Spider-Man. Right. But yeah. And but so it's for them, still a little, feels a little handicapped. Of course it's handicapped. Right? Because it's a little bit of like Sony has to put their stank on it. Plus they want, you know, for the movies, they're going to have to want to do stuff that will be able to somehow tie into either the movies they're doing or the video game this new video game is supposed to be i i I heard it was great yeah i heard it's like basically going to be playstation's biggest game ever like you know the the newest it's going to like basically make all the money for playstation yeah i've i've been listening to other people podcasts about the game and and stuff like that i wish i had a playstation 5 but i'm not getting one for one game I, as much as it's Spider-Man, I would love to. Listen, as I played every other, other than the first Spider-Man for PlayStation, I played every other man. Spider-Man game, and I freaking love it. But I'm not buying a PlayStation Five for one game. It's not for, happening. Well, and, that, and that's why every time I a just game got Assassin's system came Creed, up, yeah. I'm waiting till I finish this one. Then I'll get the Mortal Kombat. No, nope. yeah, that, that, that's, that's what I do. And, and and who else does it have? <laughs> DLC characters in the new Mortal Kombat. Do you know? No. Homelander and Omni Man. What from Invincible? Uh, as what? The downloadable characters. No shit. Yeah, Homelander and Omni Man. There's a few others. There's Speaking other of Homelander, ones. have you watched Gen V yet? I have not watched Gen V yet. Check it out. I'm gonna. I'm Check gonna. I'm gonna. If I can get off not, Hardcore Pawn for a minute, I well, might just. Why not? <laughs> it's, it's not bad. I'm yeah. not. I'm not upset with it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I've I, I've only watched the first two episodes. I think that they dropped the first three. They yeah. may have dropped the fourth one tonight. I think. Yeah. It, I think it drops on Fridays. Um. But I, I don't know. It's it's not a, it's not a bad little watch. Yeah, well, I'll you won't catch be, it. You won't be I'll catch it because I love, you know, I love uh, the boys. The boys and I five, like the universe. Five minutes you know. into every episode, new season. And you're just like holy shit! What the fuck did I get my hands? Literally. Yeah. On this one, I think it's like three and a half minutes, and I was uh, like, what the fuck? They man? they did worse than the lab. They did better worse than um, the lab than the thing. They, they, it, it, I heard it, they kind of like really topped the whole tiny man scene. Um, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Which my fun part is like I like you know just bringing on a separate like a Marvel universe. I like how people are kind of like yeah yeah. Ant Man could have killed fucking Thanos in a second if he had just done that. That could and, and Thanos we know we talked about this Thanos could've, Thanos could have been ended so many fucking times. So many times. And one of it could have just been Ant Man going in his ear and ex- expanding out and exploding his head. Yeah, I, I mean. That would have boop done, pop done, gone. See ya. But even in the comic books, though, like if you say that, like okay, like in the movie, you could have done that. Well, they could have done that in the comic books too. Right, and it makes it too easy. I get that's my hard part. Like I've always run into that. Like you could do this, you're not going to, because then it just makes it end, and you don't have Infinity War. Yeah. Like that is the easiest. Boom. We can't kill this fucking guy. You got like sixty guys who could kill this fucking guy by himself. But you don't use any of those outs. You don't use any of those things because you need to keep the story going. Right. I mean, so for some fucking reason, it's, it's he the, doesn't it's do the, it's it. It's the nuclear missile on the island yeah. of dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Commercial Prince. length. And that's it. It's done. You know, that's that's Bruno's favorite thing. I <clears> loved <throat> it. And it's true, though. I mean, there's, there is, you could do that so many times, but, you know, like like we've talked about, like the, like the bad guy has to do stupid shit in order for the story to... Yeah, but the good guys had to do stupid shit and not do what they needed do, to do. Right, right. Which is why, even though he was the villain, I loved Ultron in the What If, when he just he sees Thanos, like, zip! She uses this laser beam and just right up his... Right, right, right the fucking cuts him right him. in half. Yeah, you're done. See Thanks ya. for the gems. Oh, what the... F- <laughs> they could have oh. done that! What the hell? Yeah, that's why. It's like, okay, well, whatever. All right, there it is. All right, anything else you want to uh, expound on? Any other notes? Any other entertainment I, news you want to rant about? Um, I don't want to rant on this too long. 
So whenever you listen to this, it's going to be Tuesday of next week. The news I'm going to say is going to be last week's news. Yeah. I find it quite humorous that Jada Pinkett Smith comes out and says, Will and I have been separated since 2016. Yeah. Bitch, you made him get up there and bitch smack Chris and Rock. Then, but then I read recently, just literally today, she thought it was a prank until like like the last minute. She's like, oh, this ain't a fucking prank. She thought it was planned. She thought it was a bit they she's were doing. She's full of shit. I I'm know. Sorry. I she's can't full of stand shit. her. I can't stand her. And see, and so... When people are like, oh, but why didn't they say I've they, never really liked her, to be honest so with when I, I always thought she was a little, like, snooty and a little, like, it's that full of herself. So Is science, she a Scientologist? They're Scientologists. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I think that that's the reason why I didn't know this that. whole separation thing has been under wraps. Because they don't like having that shit out there. Oh, no. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know they were Scientologists. Well, quite some time, too. Wow. That's yeah. too bad. So I just, I just thought of, like, when I saw that. I mean, good for Scientology, but bad for them. Yeah. And the I, I, feel, the world. I feel bad for Will Smith, though. I really fucking do. Because, like, this dude, he's had his, I don't know, ex-wife now. She put all their business on, like, public television. Yeah. She was like, yeah, I had an affair. I, I had an affair on him. And he's like, bitch, why you have to tell people that <laughs> why shit? Why are you saying this? Like, why you got to put my dirty, why, why are we putting out dirty, dirty laundry out there to the public? Like, I know because the they were like the example couple. Like they were supposed to be nice. They had the nice kids. Yeah. And, well. Well, they they were supposed to. Like I feel bad for Will Smith because son's a fucking lunatic. Well, yeah, she was the daughter though. Whatever. Yeah, They're less so than this. He's more of a waste. They're all fucking nuts. Yeah. And I just again, I just feel bad for Will Smith to a certain degree. Yeah. yeah. You know, and there's got to be a part of him that's going fuck. I just want to be the Fresh Prince again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. I, I just want to go back Let's to go back to those days. I just want to. I just want to go back to Beverly Hills and be the Fresh Prince. That's it. Instead, I got to deal with this crazy kook. Yeah. I just, that, that's all I got on that. I just thought I was kind of fucked up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's like, a lot of that. Like, out why, why you got to put their business? Why do you have to put your business out there? We've been separated since 2006. He's not going around saying anything. No, no. You know, he's keeping it all under wraps. He's yeah. like, look, I don't, I don't want that kind of publicity. I don't I don't want it to be all about that. Yeah, especially you know? after the slap. I think he's had enough of that kind of controversy and still yeah. having to deal and dodge those questions and deal with all that bullshit and have to, like, yeah. answer that shit and, you know, try to be real about it. And, I, uh, I, I also think, too, That's just going to wear on you. I, I also think that she's been, I mean, she's not really doing anything, right, as far no. as I'm just like, I haven't heard her name pop up except for these, like, little things. So it's like, all right, so now you need to be relevant. Hey, you know, bad publicity is still publicity, yeah, right? Yeah, So if I just keep putting Any my business out publicity. there. Yeah, so if I just keep putting my business out there, I stay relevant. My name stays, stays in people's mouths. Yeah. Uh, you know, when Will Smith's like, I, I'm, still, I'm still trying to like do my career thing. Yeah. Here. Like he's still putting out movies and stuff. And so he's like still pushing on. Yeah. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Yeah. You're fucking my shit up. Yeah. Hey, that, well, there's that. And you know she's going to be getting money out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Which doesn't go to Scientology. She'll be getting some. Yeah, I don't like her. No, I've uh, never really, I've really not, no. never really liked her. A lot, like, yeah, it's kind of like eh, one of those people, like, I, I could take her or leave her. I don't really, I don't know. Something about her rubbed me the wrong way from the beginning, but, you know, not it's just harmless enough. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, right. Spent a lot of effort on it, but yeah. She's not somebody I would want to meet. You know what I mean? She's not a, she's not a celebrity I'd ever want to meet. No, I don't want to have coffee with her. No, exactly. Yeah. I don't want to sit down and have a conversation. And this is before, I've been talking before any of this shit. Even before the slap, and even before all this shit, I, it's just not somebody I've like ever cared. Like, oh my god, I would love to think she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I've only seen her in a couple of things. I think I saw her in Poetic Justice. Yeah, and she was, uh, in, the, yeah, she was Matrix. in Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's been in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I just don't really nothing that wowed me. Nothing wowed you know? enough. Nope, definitely not. There it yeah, is. There it is. All the news that's fit to rant about. Yeah. All right, Larry, this was fun. Yeah, I like it. had a this. good time. Just the, just the, two, just the of two of us. All right, and that's it. That's Entertainment Rants for this Tuesday. I want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, go out there. Let us know what you think of the show. Let us know what you thought of some of the news. Correct us on anything you want to correct us about, because God knows. <laughs> probably got some shit wrong along <laughs> the way. Whatever. For an hour and 20 minutes, you know what I mean? We probably got some crap going on, but it's all right. It's late. A couple old guys here just ranting away, talking about stuff. Hey, the boy, the, the, the geeky dads are up at the New York Comic Con. Yeah, they are. You see that? I did see Fuckers. that. Fuckers. I know, right? <laughs> Passages. That would, that's something I would not mind doing. No, I know. You know doing, uh, doing Maybe next year we'll like all that. have to take yeah. the trip. That would be awesome. They, they look like they're having a blast. So good, yeah. God bless them. Good on them. Yeah. It's good fun. I can't wait to hear the stories when they get back. Yeah. Should be fun. Should be a good time. So anyway, and I was on uh, Raphael Moran's podcast. You saw that. And yep. We talked to Soka. Yep, yep, so if yep. you get a, get a chance, go listen to the Geeky Dad. Yep. The latest episode. I'm on there for about a half hour. Uh, he and I ranted uh, about uh, Ahsoka as well. That was fun. He's a good guy. He's a good dude. Yeah. He's a good dude. I like talking with him. We're going to get him back on the show at some point as well. 
So you know, a lot of things coming up. Hopefully, make things happen. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get some other ranchers back in the room. Yeah. Looking at you, me and Bruno. So, all right, gang. We are Entertainment Rants at EntertainmentRants.com. We thank you for listening. And uh, Larry, what are we gonna go out there and do? Hashtag Let's Rant. Let's rant it up.